What's happening everybody? Boy Big Brando and today let's talk about scorch marks. Now this is a question I've been getting a lot of and people have been hitting me up asking me, hey, how do I eliminate scorch marks? How do I get rid of scorch marks? How do I avoid scorch marks? Now first things first is understanding what a scorch mark is. If you're talking about actually burning your shirt, that's what I consider a scorch mark, meaning you're burning the shirt. So if your shirt has, let's say you have a 15 by 15 press and let's say that there's a 15 by 15 brown or reddish color square on your t-shirt. That to me is considered a scorch mark, meaning you're burning your shirt, over baking the shirt, you're cooking the shit out of that t-shirt. Now you gotta adjust your heat and adjust the time that you're pressing it. One good note to have is invest in one of these right here, laser thermometer. I'll link it in the description box. It'll be in the Amazon link. I think it'll be called like a, like shipping supplies or something like that or heat press supplies. There will be a link to something like this in there. These things are like six to $12. You could get them at Home Depot, Lowe's. You could get them at Harbor Freight. All you gotta do is get you one of these and shoot the top of your platen to see what the real reading is of the temperature of your press. This is gonna give you an accurate reading. This right here, going off of this, don't go off of the readout. Go off of this right here. Now, sometimes the readout might be a little off because you might say, all right, I need to press these transfers at 370. So you set your press at 370, then it heats up. You hear it beep, 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 beep. It's ready to go. It says 370 on the readout. You start pressing. But what you don't know is the press is actually going hotter than 370. So it's going hotter maybe to like 420 and then tapering back down to 370. So you don't know that because the press's readout is saying 370, you heard it beep, it's ready to go. But when you bring that press down, you might be burning your shirt because you might be a little over eager, you might be excited to press and you hear the beep, 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 it's ready to go. You press it down, now you're pressing down 420 degrees onto your t-shirt for 15 seconds or whatever it is, potentially burning your shirt. Now, if you're not talking about actual scorch marks, if you're just seeing some slight discoloration, maybe you're just seeing a flat box around your t-shirt and you're saying, oh no, I got scorch marks. How do I get rid of this? I don't want to give this to the customer. Now, if that's what you're seeing, this right here isn't considered a scorch mark. Now, I'm not a professional at this. I don't know the science behind this. So take this for what it is, but this is how I feel about it. Scorch marks is burning the shirt, meaning you're burning the shit out of your t-shirt, it's turning brown. If you just see a slight discoloration, maybe if you're pressing on a black t-shirt and then you see like, you know, a lighter color black, maybe like a gray square around your t-shirt, you're like, oh no, I'm burning the shirt. That to me is not burning the shirt. What that's doing is the heat is activating the pigment in the t-shirt, which is causing it to be discolored. Now, once the shirt is cooled down, that square goes away. So for me, all I do is I press shirts, I lay it on this chair right here to cool down. That's all I'm doing. And I start pressing, laying it up here, pressing, laying it up here. And then I just let them cool down before I fold them and bag them up and send them out to the customers. So if this is what you're seeing, just a lighter color of whatever t-shirt you're doing, like say you're pressing on a blue shirt and now you're seeing like a light blue square around there, it might just be the heat activating the pigment. But once the shirt has cooled down, it goes away. Now I have seen videos and I have seen people talking about taking another t-shirt or maybe chalkboard erasers or a towel and then you rub the shirt around all you're doing is helping it cool down, but at the same time, you're brushing the fibers back and forth to bring them back to life to their normal cruising color. You know what I mean? So for myself, all I do is I just lay the shirts down. I let them cool off before I fold them up. That little discoloration goes away. Now, another thing you might be seeing is this might be a visual thing for you. So you have to remember, this is like a big ass iron. That's all it is. So if you're ironing a straight 15 by 15 square onto your t-shirt and the rest of the t-shirt is wrinkled, visually it's going to look like it's discolored because there's a flat square on there. Now, to get rid of that, all you have to do is just press the rest of the shirt. Now, if you're pressing for 15 seconds, you don't have to press the rest of the stuff for 15 seconds. Just bring it down, let it kiss it a little. All you're doing is just heating it up just to flatten it out raise it up, move on to the next section. That way you're ironing the whole t-shirt. Now that square that was in the middle of your shirt magically is gone because the rest of the shirt has been ironed out. So remember, if you're pressing and this thing is turning brown, reddish in color, you're actually scorching and burning the shit out of your shirt. If 
you just seen slight discoloration, maybe a lighter color than the shirt that you're pressing on. All you did was raise the temp on the t-shirt, activated that pigment, and now once it cools down, it goes back to its normal color. If it helps you out or if it makes you feel any better, take a rag, take another t-shirt, or you could take those chalkboard erasers like those people were doing in the videos and just brush the fibers back and forth. Cool the shirt down, put it on a tabletop or something, cool it down, brush those fibers back, and now your shirt looks perfectly fine. If this is what you're going through, if you remember anything, like if you ever ironed your pants, like for myself, I used to crease my jeans, I used to crease my dickies up all the time. So what I would do is, once you would take a hot iron to like, let's say a pair of black Levi 501s, and then you ironed on it. There's a little shine on the jeans. It turns a little bit gray and there's a little bit of a shine to it. All that is, is just you heating up those jeans with that iron and activating that pigment in the color of the jeans. That's all it is. Because if you went back over with a rag, if you remember creasing up your jeans with starch, you would lay like a, a bandana over or you would lay a towel over it, get that iron on so you're not getting that direct heat. Same exact thing is applying to your heat press and your t-shirts. If that makes any sense to you guys. Some people, you, maybe you never even ironed black jeans before or never ironed some 501s before, so you don't know what I'm talking about. But all you're doing is just bringing heat to a garment. The garment is reacting to the heat, but once it goes back to the normal temperature, the color goes back to normal also. So you guys see me pressing all the time. I'm not doing anything secret. I'm not doing anything fancy behind the camera when the camera's off. You guys see me press these shirts, lay it on this chair. Press these shirts, lay it on this chair. That's all I'm doing, or I'll lay it on the table. And then that way the shirts are having a chance to cool down. Then when they're all cooled down, I'll fold them up, bag them up, send them off to the customers, all right? So if you're seeing this discoloration, do not freak out. Let the shirt cool down, you should be good. This is just going for 100% cotton, 100% cotton hoodies and t-shirts, all right? That's it. I don't do any of those tri-blends or all the other fancy stuff. I don't use none of those. If you're doing polyester, it might react a little different under heat, who knows? But for myself, I just press on 100% cotton t-shirts with the slight exception. If I do any heather color shirts, you guys see me use heather gray all the time. There's a little bit of polyester in there. Sometimes when I press on those, there's a big dark square on the t-shirt, but once it cools down, it goes back to normal. The pigment is reacting to the heat. That's all. I don't even know if that's a real science thing, but that's what I think is happening to the shirts because after it's cooled down, it goes back to normal. There's no issues with it. Letting it cool down solves everything, all right? So if you feel better, go ahead, rub that shirt out with another t-shirt or a towel or something like that, or just let it cool down. You'll be good, all right? Hopefully this helps you guys out. If you guys already use these methods or if you have some other kind of solution for it, I'm all ears. Leave it in the comments. You'll be able to help somebody out that's running into this problem, all right? Follow me on Instagram, BigBrandoTV. Keep the conversation rolling on there, all right? Catch you on the next one, man. Yeah.